Welcome to the PSCAD video tutorial. In this tutorial, we'll be covering the following. What is the layers feature in PSCAD? How to set up the layers? And a brief overview of some features. Layers will allow you to group components. Once grouped, they can be enabled, disabled, and removed from the simulation. Let's have a look at a simple example. This example is a simple voltage divider circuit with resistors in parallel. Let's start by enabling the layers featured. For this exercise, create three layers, A, B, and C. You can add parts of the circuit to each layer using the right-click menu. Let's run the simulation to see the results before we use layers. Now let's disable some layers and run the simulation. As you can see, the current through the first branch increases as we disable each parallel branch. Another useful option is to make the layer invisible. You can also merge layers together into a new layer. And you can list and navigate to components. Now let's have a look at an example that uses layers and simulation sets. This example has a 100 km transmission line split into two lines, A and B. A fault is applied between lines A and B at 10% increments. Enable the first layer to see the settings. Here you can see that line A is 10 kilometers and line B is 90 kilometers. This puts the fault at 10% of the 100 kilometer line. Enable the second layer to see the settings. Here you can see that line A is 20 kilometers and line B is 80 kilometers. This puts the fault at 20% of the 100 kilometer line. This is essentially sliding a fault 
down a transmission line at 10% increments. As the fault location moves, you will see the fault current spike, IC3, decrease as the fault moves away from it. Conversely, you will see the fault current spike, IC4, increase as the fault moves closer to it. The task of enabling each layer and running the simulation one at a time has been automated by the simulation sets. You can see each simulation queued up with a specific layer enabled. Now let's run the set and see the current values for each run as the fault slides down the transmission line. We hope that you have enjoyed this tutorial. If there are any videos that you would like to see made in the future, please let us know. Thank you and enjoy PSCAD.